Are you performing a diesel swap or looking to add a tack to your ride? You have a number of options available to you. One, you could use something like an autometer diesel tack. It consists of a ring, kind of a clamp if you will, that you mount to the outside of the alternator. It has a pickup on it and it'll send a signal to an autometer tack. Another option that's very popular is just to use the W terminal on an alternator with something like a Dakota digital box to send a signal to a tack. That requires a little bit of calibration. Another option is just to use the factory tack sensor and amplifier. Now that may not work for you depending on the tack that you're going to have in the host vehicle if you're doing a swap. In my case, we have a little bit of a different scenario with our dyno car. We're running an AEM digital dash and CAN bus system. So here we need to have a square wave signal sent from a TAC pickup so that we can actually get the signal into our data logger and overlay it on a dyno graph with a bunch of other information. So a standalone gauge was not an option for our install. So I'm turning to TinyTAC. Now TinyTAC has been around a while. It has a transducer that mounts around the hard line uh, from the injection pump to the injector on cylinder number one. Now they do have a standalone TAC module so if you do not have something as sophisticated as the digital dash and just want to attack, that should work for you. In our case, we're going with the piezo amp uh, and it will change the signal to a square wave for us, uh, just like we need for our, our configuration. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and get this installed, get it running, and then we'll come back and check out the results. All right, so here we are in the car. Now there's actually not a lot of room for cameras and stuff in here because of the cage, it kind of makes it difficult to work. I'm going to go ahead and install this piezo amp. So just to be clear, there is no mounting bracketry associated with this. So I am going to simply zip tie it to the main harness that goes across where the old uh, dash support was. So it will still be very secure. I kind of wish it had a bracket associated with it, but it's not really necessary. And then after that, I'll go ahead and run the wire. I'm going to come down through the transmission tunnel where the rest of my wiring goes, and then it's going to go up and around the engine. I like to try to hide the wires on my cars uh, as much as possible to just give it the cleanest, the cleanest look I can. So let's go ahead and get that done. Okay, so here we are. We're in the engine bay. We've got everything inside taken care of. So the wiring was not complex other than I already had all the other wires run. It was all loomed up. Everything was taken care of. So we actually had to undo the loom, get in the tack sensor, go into the CAN 22, whatever. So here we are now. We're at the pump. I've got the line coming out under the trans tunnel. It is now zip tied to the other wiring loom running alongside the engine. And now we have this. This is from the tiny tack. We've got a ground and we have the lead that goes on the actual uh, sensor that goes on the fuel line. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut these off because I did not know it came pre-terminated. I thought it came terminated on the other end, but I didn't know it was also terminated on the tiny tack end or the transducer end. Not a big deal, but uh, we're in the home stretch now. So I'm going to go ahead and install this. So what you'll see in the video, because it'll be kind of fast motion here, I'm going to go ahead and clean this off. I'm going to sand it down a little bit to get rid of any corrosion. I'm going to use brake cleaner to make sure it's clean. I'm going to install the transducer. The red line will go to one side, and then this white line will go to the ground that I have. And I'm actually using the... Uh, Kind of the alternator bracket, or not alternator, power steering pump, fuel pump bracket is my engine ground. So that's where that will go. Now, if this was a normal install, you would want to paint the tiny tag transducer. 
And after talking to tech support, you want to do that because if dirt gets in there, it can short things out, depending on whatever material is in uh, really the contaminants that get on that over time, it could cause a shorting problem. In our case, we're not worried about that because we're going to go ahead and just dyno test this, pull the engine, and put the next one in. So that's what you'll see. Let's go ahead and get it installed and we'll take it from there. Here we can see the installed tiny tech. Everything's all uh, set up here on the transducer. So I do need to get a smaller eyelet for this. Uh, I also left a service loop in here. Um, as I swap in different engines, um, I'm, I'll, I might need to adjust that. Of course, I think the 606 will probably be the last diesel that I put in here. So I'll trim that up when the next engine goes in. Just using a ground point there for now. And again, uh, Unfortunately, it doesn't run inside the, the loom, but it is all packaged up there. Let's go ahead and take a look inside, and I'll show you what I did there. Okay, and here it is. It's all zip-tied up. Um, again, where I could put the wire inside the loom behind the switch plate, I did so. Um, the, the CAN22 wiring is all packaged up. And now let's go for a test drive. The tiny tack it's an easy install to add a tack to your diesel project so if you have any questions please leave a comment below and also please subscribe i'm working to put out more content and also improve the quality of that content and i would hate for you to miss something so thanks for watching